Hey guys, it's Gareth at Cosmic Toys, your one and only Cosmic Toy Man. I'm here again with another weekly roundup of What Did I Buy? This is February 22, week one. And it's been another one of those weeks where I haven't bought loads of stuff. So just like last week, we're going to take a dive into some of the stuff that I bought in the past. And see what little treasures I can unearth again. Uh, so yeah, with that, let's have a look. Welcome to all my Cosmic Crusaders. First batch I'm going to show you is the first lot that was brought in, which just so happens to be more comics and graphic novels. There's a Moonlight Issue 1 variant, I believe that was by Abby Grenoll. It's quite nice artwork, it's that black and white with that touch of blood. Lovely. Uh, a couple of older ones here. We've got Star Wars Dark Empire Issue 3 of 6. And from the second run, Dark Empire 2, we've got Issue 2 of 6. It's a cool Boba Fett cover, isn't it? A um, bit more recent is this one. We've got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Best of Shredder. And we've got the first five issues of the first Marvel Alien series. This ran for 12 issues. It had an annual and then it just got reset again to issue one. First of the graphic novels, Avengers Volume 2, Time Runs Out. Uh, a Doctor Who graphic novel, Doctor Mania featuring the Ninth Doctor. The original 80s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's not a first edition, unfortunately. It's a fifth printing, is this one, from 1989. First printed in 1986. Amazing Spider-Man, the complete clone saga. Although it's not the complete one because this is volume 3. The Life Story of the Flash by Iris Allen. It's not actually written by her, is it? Because she's a fictional character. We have a couple of Essential Fantastic Fours, volume 2 and 3. Covering issues 20 to 63 and annuals 2, 3, and 4 collectively. And then, if, if anyone's interested in starting Batman, this is the one you start with. It's amazing is this story, Year One by Frank Miller. And I do believe that um, a lot of this was used for or um, was inspired did inspire uh, the Batman movie that recently came out. Now this little set of five, and they will be going as a set of five, they're quite expensive of these ones. Let me make a bit of space. So volume one of it, Thundercats, Reclaiming Thundera. If you flip, quick flip through at the outlet before we move on to the, the other ones. Volume 2, The Return. Which the customer who sold me these did say that he paid £100 for that one just to get it. Volume 3, Dogs of War. So yeah, if it's £100 just for that one, you can imagine this isn't going to be a very cheap bundle, can't you? Hammer Hands Revenge, which is Volume 4. And I actually did let him trade this in the shop for £100 worth of value. So I, I've actually got 100 tied up in these as well. Volume 5, Enemy, Enemy's Pride. Uh, also brought in this week, you hear it, Lego. We all love Lego, don't we? Harry Potter. This is one of those where you build up a book and on the inside of it, it's a, it's a play set. This particular one being Transfiguration Class. 
Um, another little lot that was brought in by someone. In fact, I should have shown you these first because these came in first. Uh, and I'm told since that these were at the bargain shop. So please tell me that that person's wrong because I've probably paid too much for them if they were in the bargain shops. Um, Only Fools and Horses, Cushy Vinyl Figures. And we've got all three. Del Boy, Rodney and Uncle Albert. Now where are those going to go? Let's put them over here. Another trade in this week was some retro games. We got some uh, Mega Drive games. I'll show you the, what I consider to be the crappy ones first. The sports ones. I don't do well with sports, sports games at all and I don't like them. So Premier Manager FIFA 95, FIFA 96 and Premier Manager 97. Brian Lara Cricket, NBA Live 95, World Cup USA 94 and NBA Live 97. Now a little bit better here, I know Mega Drive Collection was complete without Sonic 2, classic game, absolutely classic game. If that doesn't bring any nostalgia feelings back for any of you then there's some, I'm doing something really wrong. The Terminator, Batman Forever. Super Street Fighter 2 Another classic Mortal Kombat Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition Not quite so great Street Racer Turbo Outrun And Super Wrestlemania. There are a few unboxed ones as well. Micro Machines. The one that everybody had. Mega Games 1. Which featured Columns, Super Hang On and World Cup Italian 90. European Club Soccer. And probably best of the unboxed ones, Robocop vs Terminator. I think I've already got one of those in stock actually. Uh, the same guy also brought one PS1 game in, which is it's quite a valuable one actually, as PS1 games go. Street Fighter Collection, which features Super Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and Street Fighter Alpha 2 Dash. It's a two disc one. It's got the book manual. That sells for about £40, is that surprisingly? It might not surprise you, but it did surprise me. <laughs> uh, now, these next four, four loose Star Wars figures that came in, and I've actually already got these four on the website. I pulled my finger out and got on with these. Uh, not really worth the time was Plo Koon from Attack of the Clones. There we go. Definitely worth the time. Galen Marrick, Secret Apprentice, Star Killer, whatever you want to call him. He is missing a couple of pieces though. Uh, he should have a couple of silver gauntlets that he doesn't have and his uh, deactivated lightsaber hilts. A couple of clone troopers. Now these two are pretty much brand new. They came in those um, four pack box sets uh, where you get this clone trooper lieutenant, uh, phase one clone trooper lieutenant, and three, three plain white clone troopers. And you can take the helmets off them both as I have done with this one. And these are considered part of the vintage collection. You're going to stand up. Looks like it. There's a little helmet. His bucket, as people call it. Now, I believe. Yeah, that's everything that was brought in this week. But as I said, it's not a great amount, so I'm going to take another deep dive in 
some of the stuff that came in previously that's been stored aside for ages. You remember the lot I did last week? I actually had a customer reach out to me and say, are you going through the box that I brought into you four years ago? Four years it had been stored at the shop in fact without being looked in. Right, first item I've got here. Pokemon Johto League Champions by Panini. Now I know nothing about it other than what it says on it. Stacks. And they're all these little square. The magnets actually. I think the magnets anyway. The magnets. Each featuring a character. Some are hollow. Some are not. So I don't know if they were rare ones and not so rare ones. Yeah, they're definitely your magnets, aren't they? <laughs> now I don't know anything about these. Do people collect them? Do they have any value at all? That's it, it's obviously not a full set. Repeat from last week here. <laughs> Another Kylo Ren from The Last Jedi also missing his cape. However, this one does have the lightsaber hilt, which last week's didn't. The other Black Series figure that I found in those boxes that I've just been through was General Veers. Now, unfortunately, his armour has been glued on. There's a bit of glue frost in there as well. His helmet hasn't. So, if you really wanted to, you could switch the hat over, but I don't see why you would do, seeing as he's going to be stuck with that armour on. Bit of a shame, unfortunately. Good figure as well. Julian Glover. Sticking with the Star Wars theme, we've got a Clone Wars Captain Rex. It's quite a nice, clean looking one, is that? As well as that. Can't take the helmet off on this one, though. I mean, it doesn't have his pistols. Can you stand up? Oh, look, he does. He stands up. We have a clone, I think this one's a clone engineer. This one you can take the helmet off. It's not quite as orange as that one. He stands up. There's a couple of Star Trek figures. We have um, Star Trek The Next Generation Riker in his battle worn uniform. And we have a Deep Space Nine Captain Sisko in his original series outfit that was seen in that one episode. Was it Trouble with Tribbles? No, that was the original series one, wasn't it? Trials and Tribulations? It's one of those. We've got a 4x4, we've got a Jeep. A Jeep Wrangler. I'm guessing it's supposed to make some noises or something because it's got some buttons there, but it's not working at the moment. I might have to try some batteries in it. Um, not normally the kind of thing I'd do, so I'm guessing it came in with a job lot of other things, and that's why it's been set aside. It's by Buddy, Buddy L, or oh, Buddy L, and it came out in '94 apparently. And it does have a trailer with a little quad bike on it as well. The quad bike's lost one of the handle burns, unfortunately. Really strange, but in the same box as that was another trailer. That trailer is exactly the same mould, just a different colour and a different label. It's also by Buddy L. Buddy L. And that one had a jet ski on it, again missing the handlebars. How about a little bit of vintage die cast, eh? I say vintage, we're looking at, well it's stamped 74 but I think these were later released in the 80s, these particular ones. Uh, Hover Raider, these are Matchbox. And there's two of them, bizarrely. Paintwork on this one is better than it is on that one. And both of them have lost a little bit of the um, silver chrome wear. But yeah, these are Battle Kings. Now to go with them, 
There's also the little hovercrafts. These were all in a brown paper bag inside the box. Now what's different about these is one's got a black base and one's got a beige base. I don't know if one's uh, harder to get variant than the other. These are stamped 90, uh, 72, 1972, but again, they came out a lot later than that. I'm sure of it. Tron Legacy One Man Light Jet. Packaging's fairly battered and everything, but the, the model's perfect. That's die cast as well. Now, who fancies a bit of vintage Star Wars, eh? Who fancies a bit of vintage Star Wars? We've got a mini rig, seeing better days. Put some discolour into it. Marbling. That's a bit dirty, needs a good clean. And we've got an Ewok glider. Missing the rocks by the look of things, but it does have the harness. Sticking with the vintage Star Wars, we've got a Snaggletooth. Fairly middling condition, really. Certainly not bad, but I've seen a lot better. We have a very nice Klaatu. But the only thing I can find wrong with this one is a little bit of the skirt has gone up there. It's a shame because otherwise, lovely. Lovely job there. Another nice one, uh, condition wise, uh, Lando Skiff Guard, complete with hat and weapon. Hat, helmet, whatever it is. Hood. <laughs> Bonds protector. I have a couple of Gamorrean guards. Some paint wear on the horns, particularly on this guy. And the teeth and, and whatever else, his feet. This one's not quite as bad. So I might give that axe to this one. And then we've got a complete Gamorrean guard that's in reasonable condition at least. There's a Reese. No weapon, but in nice condition. And a very angry looking Bib Fortuna. This one's also in really nice condition from what I can see, apart from just a tiny little pinky coloured mark on his sleeve there. By far the nicest condition out of these is a squid head. No marks whatsoever on the fabric, it doesn't seem to be deteriorating in any way. Look how clean that skirt is. Really nice. Good paintwork on the hands. Lovely is that one. And then really bizarrely, in the same box, no vehicles. A Han Solo carbonite block from Slave One. It's got all four stickers. Really nice condition, really. Now, actually, I have a Slave One that's missing one of those, but it's also missing a ramp. So, if anyone's got a ramp going spare, give me a shout, will you? <laughs> got three Funko Mystery Minis here. I love this packaging. Designed to look like an old arcade machine. I think that's great. I've had these before. These probably came in the same lot, actually. Is actually Mega Man. Got a Dig Dug one. I'll show you the back actually, because then you can see all the different ones you can get in the set. Put the Dig Dug one down. That's the guy that comes in there. Be like a little bomb. Rattling inside there. And then, by far, my favourite out of these, I love this game anyway Frogger. And there he is the little guy. Look at him all ready to go to work. His little briefcase and his tie. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I love that one. Now, this is a weird one to find. I do actually remember this coming in and I said to the guy, why are you getting rid of this? It's going to have no value to me for me to for me to offer you on it. And I think I just took it as part of the job lot. But to him there's got to be some some sentimental value there, hasn't there? This is, one, this is childhood um, holiday, family holiday. 
from those coin machines where you'd put a, a, a penny or a cent in this case, with it being in America, put it into one of those squishy machines and it'd crunch it down and imprint it with these things. And you've got Dr. Seuss. What have we got there? What's that one? I can't make out what that says. No, oh, can't see that one. Can't see some of them, quite a few of them actually. Uh, Woody Woodpecker, uh, uh, Epcot, Disney Epcot, Shrunken Head, Hercules from Disney, Rocky and Bullwinkle, Jaws. I did think that was Chewbacca at first, but it's probably King Kong, isn't it? Universal Studios. Uh, Men in Black, another Rocky and Bullwinkle, Terminator 2, 3D, E.T., a couple of Betty Boops. Um, what's that one? I don't know. Can't make out what that one is. Oh, that's Dr. Seuss again, isn't it? Thing 1 and Thing 2. So yeah, I, I couldn't understand why he wanted to get rid of those. It's a really cool item. I just don't think it's going to hold a lot of value. Aha! <laughs> we got a Mickey Mouse! It's a Mickey Mouse lunch kit. Well, it says lunch kit. It's a lunch box. There's no flask in there, so it's just a lunch box. That's cool, isn't it? How retro is that? It's got a few scuffs here and there. It's, it's obviously seen better days, but it's, it is what it is at the end of the day, isn't it? I think that's really cool. Now, as I went through these boxes, Oh, there's some bags down, those accessories. These are Black Series ones. Now, some of these weapons are obviously from Force Awakens. I'm sure that's one of the... Is that Dengar's? It's one of the Bounty Hunter guns, isn't it? I think. It might be Four Lons. Oh, a hand. <laughs> and also, accessory-wise, there's a bag of wrestling accessories. I do okay with the belts, actually. It's all the belts to build figures. And there's also a bag of Doctor Who accessories and heads and loads of sonic screwdrivers in there. They'll come in handy, I can tell you that. Tom again head, Tom Baker head, Pete Capaldi. We've got a Tockler fame. We've got um, the Mona Lisa, which is from the City of Death. And then there's five of these in there, which are the moment. From was it Day of the Doctor? One of the of the Doctor things. It was a 50th anniversary special, wasn't it? And John Hurt. There's a Witch King of Angmar from Lord of the Rings. Strangely, we've got Gandalf's staff. Odd. Very odd. Now this is a weird looking box. I'm going to see if I can angle the camera down so that you can go through it with me. Let's see if I can do that. Apparently this is as far as it goes down. Oh, okay. So we've got a lot of He-Man accessories in there. We've got He-Man Shield. Well, Mass of the Universe accessories. He-Man Shield. Laser gun. We've got He-Man armor or harness, chest harness, Orko's hat, mace and a blue axe, strange. we've got a couple of bits there from uh, Castle Grayskull, laser cannon type thing and the throne, still come in handy, we've got some Star Wars accessories, we've got the Ewok catapult, we've got the, the net from the Ewok village, a support strip from the Ewok village, a piece of speeder bike, wow, that's part of that catapult, another He-Man piece, we've got a load of Asterix figures, oh that's from Supernaturals isn't it, oh Visionaries, one or the two. I think it's visionaries, this, isn't it? I'll tell you what is supernatural, sir. Look at that. Oh, I've lost it. This is I'm looking through the screen of the phone. 
So yeah, a load of Asterix figures there. We've got more Ewok accessories like Cats from Ewok Village. No, I do, I, I'm not up on Asterix. I know, I know Asterix and I know Oblix. I don't know any of the other characters. Goodness, that looks like David Warner. Some boulders for various things. Is that the one? I can't remember. Is that the one for the Ewok Village? I think it is. Oh, that's off that um, Ewok glider, but I think with the state it's in, it's a bit chewed. So yeah, Clone Wars. Very cool. Very good. More Ewok accessories. I'm going to have to have a go good go through this, aren't I? It's a good piece to find. Always missing. Strangely enough, there's no lionos in here. <laughs> now, randomly stuck on that box was um, on that box of Asterix things was uh, vintage Transformers instructions as well for Autobot Hotspot. Tom, unfortunately. This is there. I, know, I think I recently sold a boxed one of these as well that was missing the instructions. That's typical, isn't it? And we got uh, Disney Star Gusta. The Gust Gustan, yeah, Gustan from Beauty and the Beast. There's some really random stuff stored at the top of my shop, you know. Now what we've got here is a box full of Transformers. There's one of the rescue bots. Now I want to say this guy's Inferno, because he's a, he obviously is a fire engine. But um, I'm fairly sure that they did give them all different names. Um, Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure they gave them all different names for that series. So it's probably something else instead. I'll call him Hotbot. I'm gonna put Hotbot down over here. We've got a movie Optimus Prime. Looks to be complete as well. This is leader class from the first movie in 2007. Looks to be complete. Transformers Universe Jetfire. I'm not sure if he's complete or not. Looks like he's lost one of the spikes there, does it? So he's not complete. Still a cool figure, is that one though? There's an Armada laser beak. In fact, there's two of them. I will open the second one up to show you because you can see it quite clearly there. And there's a couple of vintage ones that seem like they need some spares and repairs. We've got an Octane, I'm sure that's what this one was called. And he's lost a wink, he hasn't lost it but it has broken off, it's there. A silver Streak, Blue Streak, I do get them mixed up. Scream at me, what is it? <laughs> lost his windscreen and roof. And then we've got a hot rod. Oh, rod must prime whichever version it is. We've got a robots in disguise prowl. I quite like that model. I always did like that one. From the same series we've got you'd expect him to be called Braun, but he's called X Braun. I do remember that. These were the early 2000s. 
we got a Transformers animated blur. Straight from Cybertron by the look of him. There's a couple of Beast Wars here. Got a Prowl. Transmetals Prowl. I like Beast Wars. I know a lot of G1 purists didn't like Beast Wars, but I like Beast Wars. Uh, I don't know this guy though, he wasn't in the series, so I don't know his name. His name, her name, their name, whatever. A half transformed state, so I need sorting out. Transformers Energon Snowcap. A lot of the GI Joe fans love this one. Rather, I'm Armada or Energon. Is it long arm? I don't know actually if it's so much. A bit dirty, needs a good clean. Another animated one. Lockdown. Covid free version. We got a movie Optimus Prime. This one's the Protoform version. So he transforms into a very exciting lump of rock, a meteor. And there's two of the same here. And tra Transformers uh, R.I.D. Robots in Disguise again. Um, Sideburn, I think this one was called. That one's got the gun, that one doesn't. Things. Unless it's at the bottom of this box. Another Armada one there. I forget the name of this one, was it Demolisher? I can't remember. I think, that, I think that's the mini for it, I don't know how it connects there. It's the same colour, so I'm assuming it goes to this. Oh. Ah, put a play feature. You don't have to get play features with Transformers, do you? Transformers Energon Soundwave, not Soundwave, Shockwave. Transformers Energon so Shockwave. It's apparently a spaceship, is that? <laughs> That's a terrible alt mode. <laughs> Transformers Energon Leader Class Megatron. Could be Galvatron. I think it's Megatron, but it could be Galvatron. He's got the tank, he's got the gun for the tank, he's got his sword there. Um, I can't see any obvious holes for missiles, so I'm guessing he's complete as he is, unless those are missiles. No, I don't think they are. Yeah, I think he's complete. We've got the smaller version, the deluxe class version, of Armada Optimus Prime. Universe, I think it's Universe or Generations, Ultra Madness. And uh, it's missing the bit on top, unfortunately. Which transforms into his gun. We've got Dead End, which this one came with um, Unicron, and he's often missing. So that's cool to find. We've got a bunch of small ones. That one's from Armada, I think. It's either Armada or... Actually, that logo on top there tells me it might be robots in disguise. Not entirely certain. There's another one there. I don't recognise that one. We've got, uh, from the movie line, we've got um, Desert Ratchet. Bumblebee. Another Bumblebee. I'm not sure what this one is. Jazz. Try and tighten it together. <laughs> and I, I'm not sure on this one, is it sideways? And this one I don't know at all. 
and the last of Transformers to show you. Okay, look at that. Now you may be forgiven for thinking this is an original G1 Optimus Prime. It's not, it's G2. As you can tell from that little yellow logo there. I mean, otherwise it's the same figure, it's the same mould and everything. Uh, it does have the trailer as you saw, but unfortunately the trailer door has some damage there. I've lost this piece off it, this side. And the back of the trailer has a little bit broken off there, which works as the hinge. Sadly. It does have roller with it though. opened up. It's even got a missile. Cool. I can't have a G1 Optimus Prime without transforming him. Especially since it's one of the easiest and simplest transformations of all of them. Ta-da! Sorry, I forgot to do that. <laughs> And then last things to show you for today are some Masters of the Universe books. Now these are those short Teletale type, type books. I'm quite excited at having these because I haven't done any book readings on the channel for ages. And I'm sure that most of the guys watching this don't listen to those book readings but there's some kids out there that certainly do. So that'd be nice to um, do some more of them now. So we've got Secret of the Dragon's Egg, we've got Caverns of Fear, this one would have come with a tape look, um, Castle Grayskull, The Trap, of which there are two copies, and then in amongst them there's also this, The Masters of the Universe Story. There's some pure toy history on the back there, look at that. It's awesome, that. Don't know what I'll do with that, but I do quite like it. So yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's about it for you guys. I'll give you a little whoosh over it all. see everything what came in. That's your lot. That's everything, I'm afraid. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for joining us for this week's dive into the past purchases and this week's tradings. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if there's anything you saw that you want to get your hands on, you can always drop me a line at cosmictoys at gmail.com, leave a comment below, or reach out to us via Facebook at the Facebook page, Facebook page Cosmic Toys. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that ding-a-ling. We'll catch you next week. Take care. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of What Did I Know? Here I am with another weekly roundup of the What Did I Buy? This is week. Oh, this is.
here I am with another another update so that's it for this week guys thanks for joining us as we've won And it's been another one of those weeks where I haven't bought loads of stuff. There's only been a little bit this week, more than last week, but not loads of stuff. So once again, we're going to take a dive into some of the past purchases. That sounds like a video on its own, doesn't it? A video series of its own. Past purchases. Might, might have to look at that one. Yeah, that one might be interesting, might not it? Past purchases. I love it when these things just come to you on the fly. So remember, if there's anything there that brought back any nostalgic feelings or if there's anything you want to get your grubby little mix on, drop us a comment below like you normally do or drop us an email at cosmictoyshop at gmail.com or you can even reach out to us on Facebook, Cosmic Toys. We're pretty much all over the internet. Have a look. No, I don't like that at all. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked seeing some of those past purchases and this week's... So, yeah, um, we'll... Um, Once again, there's been another, um, no. this is, this is February 22, week one. Uh, here, here we go then, let's... Hmm. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for joining us.